Hi, I'm uh, Marlon Goldberg, founder of Workshop 5001 in Los Angeles, and uh, this is number two. Number two uh, started life as a 1974 U.S. spec Carrera, and uh, now it's been uh, transformed into sort of a well-tailored race car, um, kind of hot rod for the street. The car is uh, Mexico Blue, uh, sort of our own interpretation of Mexico Blue. It's slightly tweaked. Uh, and this car was painted uh, at our partner shop in New York, uh, Manhattan Motorsports or MMS. Like number one, we did all our crystallite chrome. Not quite as many pieces, but you know this is the original Carrera badge off the car and it was in good enough shape. The studs weren't broken, so we were able to redo it in the crystallite chrome and it's kind of one of my favorite pieces on the car. You know, the door trim, the door handles, everyone sort of digs that crystallite chrome, but it's like each car we sort of find somewhere new to, to use it and that badge worked out nicely. A lot of times I, I don't like putting badges on a car, but this one it felt right. Um, so kind of moving to the interior of the car, you know, the, the theme was sort of well-tailored race car. And so we wanted as much of the exposed, you know, blue metal uh, as possible. And, uh, you know, then we've just done a lot of detail elements. We wanted all the wiring and mechanical things exposed. And so we've kind of added different levels of finish to some of those pieces. Like for example, all the power wires that run along the center tunnel, they're actually all held together with, uh, with special zip ties. But then we thought for kind of a different level of refinement, we made uh, little leather straps with buttons to, to cover up the zip ties. So kind of a secondary way to secure it and we just thought it looked cool. And uh, the, the seats are carbon Kevlar uh, Recaro SPA that have all uh, been done in, uh, in leather. Um, you know, the, uh, we've used the red leather and we've also used uh, black Alcantara. We've done the Perlon carpet, which is affixed to the aluminum floorboards that we made. And um, you know, we, uh, all of our, our hot rod full builds, we do the same kind of belting leather door poles that are just really simple. Uh, the other thing that's kind of cool on this car, if uh, you look at the, at the dash, everything is controlled by a Motec keypad. So we even have power windows through the keypad, headlight functions, washer, wipers. Uh, we have a manual override for the um, fuel pump for the uh, transmission cooler and fan and the um, oil cooler fans as well. And uh, then we have the, the black button right here is uh, dark mode where uh, you can shut off uh, the brake lights and all lights except the headlights. And uh, you can leave it to your imagination what that's for, so. <laughs> this car uses a standard key to open and unlock the doors, but for actually starting the car, this is the start-stop button out of a 991 GT3R factory race car. And uh, this Deutsche connector is for the immobilizer. And uh, so when you plug in the immobilizer, it then allows you to power up the car and you can hit the start button, it powers everything up and you hit it again and it fires. So kind of a cool setup. The other thing we've done on this car, we've moved to using uh, bullet nose race studs. Cause I've always liked the look of the long studs, but um, these are sort of the evolution of just running a long stud is having the bullet nose so you don't risk uh, cross-threading it, makes it a little quicker and easier to put it on. And uh, at first they sent us the yellow pit nuts, you know, because they're, they're yellow, they're bright, they're easy to see. 
and at first I didn't like them. We usually do those in the crystallite chrome, but they've grown on me and I feel like they go with this sort of kind of racing vibe of the car. And, uh, inside the trunk, we've got uh, 27 gallon fuel cell. Uh, we have the uh, battery in the smuggler's hatch. Uh, we've relocated the fuel pump and filter to a, a bracket up here. The reservoirs for the Olean's dampers are mounted here. This car, the torsion bars have been eliminated. It's all coil over, uh, done by uh, uh, Olean's and Performance Shock in Sonoma. This, this box here, uh, one side of it is for washer fluid and the other chamber has uh, charcoal, so the fuel cell breathes through there so it won't stink up someone's garage like fuel. And then uh, the inertia switch, is that little orange button. If it senses uh, a certain G-force, it will cut all power in the car. Um, you know, it's sort of a safety precaution. The engine is a uh, 3.8 liter based off, uh, it was originally a 3.6 from a 964, but it has individual throttle bodies, uh, MoTeC injection, uh, the piston and cylinder kit is like a 993 RSR, so sort of a mix of, uh, of parts, you know, it's a proper hot rod motor. And, uh, you know, we wanted a really sort of clean looking engine bay and we couldn't decide what color to paint the fan shroud and one of our guys at the shop in New York kind of misunderstood some instructions and painted the shroud blue and we said okay well that that makes uh, makes that decision let's uh, let's now paint the rest of the engine compartment satin black like we do in the in the fender wells to create almost like a dark stage for the motors we didn't want too much blue uh, you start to get too matchy-matchy, it's a little kind of cheesy, but uh, we think we uh, kind of got the right balance of, uh, of blue and black in the engine compartment. You know, the, the color palette throughout the car is pretty consistent of blue and black and red and, you know, then all the hardware that's either, you know, silver or CAD. Or, so, uh, you know, the, all the coloring is consistent throughout. I mean, some of it was conscious decision. Uh, some of it, uh, you know, just sort of happened that way. <laughs> so it worked out well. The gearbox, because uh, this car actually started life as a Sportmatic car, and which is sort of an oddball, um, but uh, we built a mag case 915 gearbox with an external pump and cooler, and uh, it has a Wevo gate shift, Wevo uh, shifter housing, uh, custom gearing, and uh, the car has also three oil coolers for the engine. There's uh, three in the nose, uh, two on the outer sides that have fans and one big one in the middle that all the air ducts through and then dumps out underneath. So the uh, the engine, which is uh, 3.8 liters, uh, is producing in a 100 degree Fahrenheit dyno cell, it's producing 339 horsepower, and if I remember correctly, about 270 foot pounds of torque. Um, so, in a car that weighs 2,030 pounds dry, it's, uh, it's fast enough. 
and uh, we've continued using the same exhaust and you know RSR style muffler and headers like we did on number one. Um, you know, we're probably leaving a little bit of power on the table. A lot of guys like the GT3 style muffler or you know stuff that they've put a lot of development time and engineering into but we really like the sound of this system and no droning and it makes it you know kind of enjoyable to drive so even if i'm leaving a little power on the table the car's fast enough and you know having sort of balance and sounding right is is important to us as well